Set it and come get it when the sun starts going down. Live your life the way you like. It's a wreck take lifestyle. Do 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 Fernalan Arrow. Do 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 Fernalan Arrow. Do 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 Wreck take lifestyle. What's up, America? How are you guys doing? It is Wednesday, and I am here on the most watched daytime cooking show out there. Lunch break, Rec Tech Grills. Come on guys, y'all know what time it is. 12 o'clock, Eastern Standard. I'm here in my backyard, I'm Chef John, and I have got an exciting show for you guys today. But first, before we get into all of that kind of stuff, how are you guys doing out there? You know, y'all doing okay? It's like day, what is it, day like 247,000 of quarantine? That's what it feels like, you know, that's what it feels like. But put in the comment section, if you have any questions or comments, put them in the comment section below. My good friend, Mark McBride, who was on the ones and the twos today, will be reading them out to you guys. Quick shout out to Mark McBride and Corbin Dallas, or Corbin Jones. He's State gonna get Farm. it eventually, folks. Corbin Jones State Farm uh, for all your home, auto, and life needs. Call Mark McBride at Corbin Jones State Farm. He'll hook you up. All right, thank you. All right, so today, guys, I figured since we're at home, one of my favorite things to do uh, for a breakfast is a breakfast burger, you know? Well, you know, a breakfast burger can consist of a lot of different things. This is just, I'm gonna show y'all one of the ways I like to put it together. All right, so I got had some uh, beef patties, all beef patties. We have eggs. I've got some potatoes that I shredded, some mushrooms. A little bit of bacon and we got some pancake mix that's right that's right today i'm gonna be cooking on the rt 590 i've got it set at uh 500 degrees and this is how i set it up so i took the skillet off off of the rt 340 the the flat iron and put went ahead and put it on the 590 and you can see how it has a little bit of extra room on the side so we're going to do our bacon our pancakes, our hash browns, uh, and then we're gonna, on the other side, on the grill side, we'll go ahead and cook our burgers. All right, let's go ahead and season this stuff up and get it going. Go ahead and throw these nitrile gloves on. You can find them at rectechgrills.com. Also, guys, if you haven't heard, if you're sleeping under a rock, Rectech Grills is doing a giveaway. Burr, 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 burr. That's right. You need to go to Rectech Grills' Facebook page. Go and like and share the post. You'll see it up there. Go and like and share the post to enter to win the contest. Now, I've been told by our marketing director that each time that you like and share, you re-enter to win, you know? So, you know, if I was you guys, I would just go ahead and get the whole family like it and sharing. Get all the devices, like, go to rectechgirls.com, get all the devices on rectechgirls.com and just get the family to go ham. Just like a chair, like a chair, like a chair. For your chance to win, I'm just saying. All right, so I'm gonna season up these bad boys with Ben's Heifer Dust. I love Ben's Heifer Dust for all of my beef products. This is what I use, this stuff is delicious. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and throw these on the grill. Get these burgers going. Perfect. Now the next thing that's gonna take the next the longest, and that's how you cook breakfast. You start with the thing that takes the longest and you work backwards, the thing that takes the least amount of time. And that way everything comes out at once. So the burger's gonna take the longest, then we're gonna do the shredded potatoes. This front folding shelf on the 590 is awesome. As you can see, it gives me a little extra place to put everything. Now I went ahead and cooked some bacon off in here earlier. So there is a little bit of grease in there. If you did not have any, all you had to do is either cook your bacon off first and put it to the side, or just add a little bit of oil. So we're gonna go ahead and throw these in. Yeah, it looks great. We're gonna hit them with a little bit of Ben's pepper dust over the top. Perfect. I'm gonna go ahead and shut this and let it do its thing. 
Guys, so last night, I went live on my Facebook page, Rec Tech Chef John. If you missed that, you're gonna definitely, definitely, definitely wanna go back and check that out because I'm doing a Dirty Girl giveaway. On Thursday, I'll be announcing a Dirty Girl giveaway. You're, all you need to do is go like and share and tag three people in my Rec Tech Chef John uh, video last night and uh, you're gonna win. That's it, so simple, so easy. So John, I'm gonna just speak up a little bit. So it's hard to hear when the camera's this far back. So uh, you guys can't hear me? Okay, I'm gonna gotta, speak it up. I will speak up for you guys. Speak up for y'all, America. Ah, so delicious. But yeah, so you wanna go to Rec Tech Chef John's Facebook page and check that out for your chance to win a whole line of Dirty Girl products. That was fun. Thank you, Amanda Collins, for tuning in last night and doing that Dirty Girl giveaway. That was awesome. Mm. I'm just sipping on coffee today, guys, you know? I had that late, late night last night, on a late night with a uh, Rec Tech Chef John, and uh, yeah, we're a little recovering from those awesome drinks, man. You guys need to check that out. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and throw some bacon down. John, what do they have to do to win that uh, giveaway? All you need to do to win that Dirty Girl giveaway is watch the video, and in that video, we'll tell you what you have to do to give it away. I want you guys to go and watch it. You know, it was a good time, it was a lot of fun. All right, so I just got, so I had, this is the bacon I had at my house. You can use whatever bacon you prefer. It's looking good. So we're just gonna throw a couple pieces of bacon down. Oh yeah, hear that sizzle? You know what I also love about Rec Tech grills is that all the components of everything work very, very well together. Like, like I said, I have the griddle on the RT340 griddle on the 590, which gives me extra space so I can throw down some extra burgers and stuff. It's like they thought about all this stuff before they came out with it. All right, so we're gonna throw that down. We're gonna let that bacon do its thing. What temperature are you cooking that at, John? I have the RT590 set at 500 degrees. Now you're going, you're going to want to let that grill come up to temperature with the griddle already on it. Like you want that grill to come up to temperature as the grill comes up. That way it is nice and hot by the time you go ahead and throw your stuff on there. Also, another thing too, is you want to turn it up to a higher temperature because when you're doing stuff like eggs and hash browns, you're going to be going in and out of that grill a lot. So that cast iron griddle will hold temperature a lot better than any other kind of metal you're going to have in there. But you want to get it hot so that when you open the grill and the temperature does drop, that grill temperature isn't going to drop as much. That's a little chef tip for you. All right, let's see. Now, can everyone else hear us out there? Someone's complaining about audio. Yeah, I want to make can sure. you hear us? Let us know. Can you hear us? Can you see us? Chef John here cooking up breakfast burgers today on lunch break. Guys, also too, I'd highly recommend that if you love these recipes, you want to get more of these recipes, you want to see these recipes, go to rectechgrills.com slash lunch break. Go ahead and sign up. Put your name and all your information there. Sign up to get all these recipes. That's what I'm talking about. All hey. right, Mark, we're going to throw these mushrooms in here. You see that? The bacon's cooking great, so quick. Now, John, will uh, bacon cause a grease fire at 500? Not on this griddle. As you can see, it's not going to cause a grease fire on the griddle. You're actually going to want some of that grease in there to help all this stuff not stick. All right, we're going to go ahead and throw some mushrooms right up here. It's looking beautiful. Flip this bacon. We're gonna go ahead and throw a little bit of pepper dust down. We're gonna season the other side of the hash browns. Now when you're cooking, when you're definitely, you're cooking bacon, you cook bacon straight on your grill mat, right? 
Now the temperature that you're gonna to wanna to cook that at, straight on the grill, it's gonna be like 375, 400. You wanna go above that, your bacon will burn, and it will definitely, definitely cause a grease fire. But because we're going in and out of this uh, 590, the griddle's staying at about 400, 450 degrees. That's looking great. Hash browns are looking great. Excellent. Burgers are doing just dandy. Getting a little warm out here. It was beautiful early today in Augusta, Georgia. Oh, sorry, let me wipe some of the sweat. Yeah, it was a beautiful day earlier today in Augusta, Georgia. It is starting to warm up a little bit. How is the weather where you guys are at? I heard that there was a snowstorm in Nashville. Some of my friends up there uh, hit me up and let me know that they were, it was snowing, 40 degrees of snowing, which is, that's some crazy weather for this time of year. Uh, but yeah, let me know what the weather's like where you guys are watching. Oh man. I know you guys can't smell any of this stuff that's going on right now, but it smells fantastic. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and pull some of this stuff off. The bacon can come off. I'm gonna flip the burgers. Pull this bacon off. Ooh, it's hot bacon, hot bacon. All right, I'm gonna come over here to the RT 700. This is the great thing about having multiple grills too. So you can use one as a warming station and one as a cooking station. As you can see, I got some burgers already cooked off. I got some bacon already done. I've got the RT 700, just set it low and it acts as a huge, huge warming tray. This is looking great. So nice. I don't think that's going to be enough mushrooms. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit more on. Oh, yes. Very nice. Very, very nice. A little bit more seasoning. We're gonna give those just a couple minutes just to cook up. All right, so now we're down to the last two things, the eggs and the pancakes, they're gonna be the fastest thing, so we're gonna do those last. Everything else is looking great. Mark, do we have any questions out there, man? Um, how long do those burgers take to cook? Uh, from start to finish. Now, I, you know, I eat my burgers and I, they suggest, the uh, uh, FDA suggests that you eat your burgers at least medium well um, because you don't know how that beef has been ground. The more, uh, once beef is ground, it's more susceptible to bacteria and stuff like that. So these are cooking a medium well. It took about four, 30 minutes, I would say, uh, 15 minutes aside. And then I just put them on that warmer, uh, the RT700, let them just stay on there warming up and put that cheese on. Now I'm gonna use some Lombardi cheese. Real quick, Mark, I just wanna show everybody how wonderful these ice or coolers are. I know I haven't really said anything about it, but I put ice in here over 24 hours ago, and I don't know if you could see, but this thing is still full, whoa, still full of ice. Can you get in there? Can you see that? 24 hours later, still full of ice, just so y'all know. And I know I've had some questions. Well, Chef John, when can I get an ice or cooler? You gotta go to rectechgirls.com, scroll to the bottom, put your email address in there, sign up to become an insider, because that's the only way. Well, that way you'll be the first people to know when ice or coolers go on sale. But I did hear from our creative director that it will be later this summer. Just so a little <laughs> peek for y'all, later this summer. All right, so breakfast burgers. Cheese is really important, right? So you don't wanna use a cheese that's too sweet, you don't want to cheese a cheese that's too sharp. So her Havarti has a nice, creamy, mild taste to it, but it like oozes really well. So we're using Havarti cheese today. All right, Mark, let's go check this real quick. Oh yeah, boy. Looking good.
Oh yeah, it looks great. Hash browns are looking good, coming together nice. Burgers, about ready for some cheese. Ben Marshall wants to know, about how long do you cook the mushrooms for? Uh, the mushrooms are gonna cook, and now see, mushrooms are something that you can eat raw. So it's all about how, the texture of how you like them. Um, these are probably gonna cook for about, I don't know, eight to 10 minutes total. But if you want to cook them a little less because you like a little bite in your mushroom, just cook a little less. Live your lifestyle, your rec tech lifestyle. All right, so I'm gonna cheese these bad boys. Guys, let me know too, how do you guys really enjoy seeing me, Jody, and Greg in our backyards? Uh, Greg and Jody with their families, their young ones. Is this something that you guys like? Are y'all having a good time with this? Because we're having a good time bringing it to you. I'll tell you that right now. We are having fun bringing y'all content. I, uh, I got a chance to talk to Jody the other day because we're not in the office. We had to go in for a meeting, talk about recipes and stuff. Uh, so I talked to him. I was like, Jody, so how you doing, man? You doing okay? You liking this? He's like, man, I'm having a great time. He's like, now I get to spend time with my family. You know, I have a newborn son. It's just great, great, great. And I hope, Chef Greg, you're having fun as well. But I miss both of you guys. I miss you guys. All right, so we're gonna let that thing roll. I'm gonna go ahead and take my eggs. eggs with a little bit of heifer dust on top of them because I don't know where you get your eggs but mine don't come seasoned looking good I'm gonna do a quick transfer to the warmer Ooh. chef hands chef hands Guys, how good does this stuff look? Is it starting to make your mouth water? It's making my mouth water. Oh, so nice. Yes, hash, hash browns are almost done. Mushrooms are almost done. Man, oh man, the smells that are coming off of this 590 right now. All right. What I'm going to do is take some of these mushrooms off. All right. They look delicious. Okay, so we're gonna take this, some of those off. We're taking these hash browns off. <coughs> right? Okay, yes. Tim says he uh, grabs his eggs straight from his yard, from his chicken coop. I've been telling you, you should get your own, John. Hey, one step at a time, everybody. One step at a time. We just finished the, the completion of the Rec Tech garden. Yes, that's right. We now have a garden. Uh, Jody and I uh, and Chef Greg have been working on the blueprints and stuff for a while now. Uh, and actually with the whole Coronas thing going on, it was a perfect time for us to be at work building this, not around anybody. So it worked out perfect. So yes, we do have a rec tech garden and our marketing director said something about chickens. I don't know. I'm just saying he said something about getting live chickens. So Erica Langston, if you're out there. Trey said something about live chickens and work. So I'm just letting you know, give you a heads up before you come back to work. All right, so this looks great. So all we need to do now is drop our pancakes. Uh, Doug Wilkerson wants to make sure that you're still shipping rubs and merch. We are, we are Doug. Go to rectechgrills.com. You can place your order and it will be shipping out. We are down to a skeleton crew, but we're still here to make sure that you guys get the stuff that y'all need for sure. All right. So this pour and shake, like I don't necessarily like 
you know, rep it up any other people's product, but this pour and shake for the griddle is awesome. Pour. Flip these eggs. Put some more room. That looks great right there. Guys, if you're just tuning in, we are doing breakfast burgers in my backyard today for lunch break. I went and got some, uh, some just some beef patties, some Havarti cheese, seasoned everything with heifer dust, a little bacon, some eggs. So nice. Alright. Grab this bacon off. Ooh. Mark, say ball, my friend. It's looking good. Okay. Alright. I'm gonna go check this pancake real quick. See if they can pull it. quick recap for everybody who's just tuning in welcome to lunch break it's about 95 degrees out in Augusta Georgia today but the wind's blowing so it's nice so today I decided to do breakfast burgers for you guys I love breakfast burgers so I got some beef patties all beef patties got some Havarti cheese uh, melted it on top season it with a little heifer dust I cooked off some bacon I cooked off hash browns mushrooms eggs I've got pancakes still coming out and we're just going to assemble some of this stuff right now okay so what i like to do when making mine is i like to start with either hash browns or pancake right and get a nice potato floury base on the bottom yeah so it looks great then we're just going to go with a beef patty maybe some bacon right on top of that a few mushrooms Yeah, how's that look? It's looking good. And I'm gonna go get a little sunny side up egg right on top. How does that look, you guys? Tell me. Uh, everybody else is playing for second. This ain't no game. We play for keeps, baby. That's what I'm talking about. I can't wait to dig into this. Mm. Mark, do we have any questions? Anybody want to know anything? Uh, not really. Looks like uh, we got a lot of chatter on here, though. I love the chatter, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that y'all are doing so well. Let's dig into this thing. Oh, man. Gotta get that little bit of runny egg and some mushroom. A little piece of burger. Oh, that cheese. I told you that cheese was creamy. Mm, what do we got? Man, that's delicious, guys. That is absolutely delicious. It's probably about 5,000 calories, but it's absolutely delicious. I highly recommend you guys do this. Do breakfast for dinner tonight. Go out, get you some bacon, get you some eggs. You probably have potatoes at home. You probably have mushrooms at home. Cook all that stuff up. You can do this if you don't have a, a rec tech grill. You can do this on your stovetop or on whatever grill you have at home. But this meal is not too sleepy. Woo! 
Oh, uh, Beth Carnes says that looks amazing. Hey, everybody. What's up, Beth Carnes? The co-founder's wife, Beth Carnes, is in the comment section, everybody. I love Beth Carnes. Beth, I hope you're doing well. I miss you like crazy. Miss your face. Thank you so much for watching. Guys, if you have any questions for Beth, go ahead and put them in the comment section. She'd love to hear from you guys. I know she would. But Beth Carnes in the comment section. That's, that's freaking great. Man. So, guys, this Friday, Jody, Fun Day Friday, he is going to be announcing two, three winners, actually. He's going to be announcing a winner for an RT700. He's going to be announcing two winners for two separate RT340s. You heard it right. You don't want to tune in on Friday. That starts at 12 o'clock. Jody is going live at his house. Hopefully, John Dillon will be there with him. I love seeing Jody cook with his son. It's like Pete and repeat. It's hilarious. I love it. It's so great. But, uh... So that's going to kick off on Friday. Tomorrow, though, guys, Jody will be kicking off lunch at 12 o'clock, lunch break. And then Chef Greg's going to be bringing it home. They're still cooking. They're fine. They are fine. Um, Chef Greg's going to be bringing it home on Thursday. And then Jody's going to be doing all the giveaways on Friday. Plus, he's going to spin that wheel, which is another giveaway. So he's doing what? That'll be four giveaway he's doing on Friday. You're definitely going to want to tune in to watch that stuff. Guys, if you want to enter to win these contests, you need to go to Rep Tech Grill's Facebook page. You need to like it. You need to share it. You know, and while you're doing that, share this video too. You know, I, I love to be shared. People love this space. They love being in my backyard. Some Somebody that you know is probably missing out. So share this video, then go and share the giveaway for your chance to win. The more times you share, the more chances you enter to win. You know what I'm saying? So do as much as you like. Um, and that'll round out the week. And then we'll be back all week long, guys. We're doing programming for you guys. 12 o'clock and 5 o'clock, me, Chef Craig, and Jody will be coming to you live from our houses. So if you've been sleeping on that or I don't know where you've been, if you've been under a rock, you don't know about that, you need to tune in because it's a great, great time. Chef Greg and his daughter, that's pretty much like Pete and repeat for him. She's hilarious. I love watching them cook together. She's really like the chef, and Chef Greg's like the sous chef. It's, it's a funny little duo that they have going on. Um, but you really need, I would highly suggest you guys tune in, um, you know, take a load off, relax. We're gonna get all through this stuff together, guys. You know, just stay home and grill out. We will definitely, definitely get through this stuff together. All right, let me check this, Mark. I see you looking over here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. That's looking delicious. So, guys, if you need us, if you have any questions, you're wondering about what is going on at Rec Tech, you can call us at 706-722-0890. We'd love to hear from you. If you have any questions for me or you want my opinion on something or my take on something, email me at chefjohn at rectechgrills.com. And make sure you guys are following me and Chef Greg and Jody on all our social media. Uh, we're on everything. We're on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, uh, TikTok, Snapchat. We're on, we're on it all. So look us up, find us. We'd love to hear from you guys. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I had a great time with y'all. And you know, like I always say, well, first, before I sign, Mark, is there anything else that we have? I think we're good. Are we good? You guys good? Y'all have anything for me? This is your last chance because you know quality of food is quality of life. And I'll see you guys at the Rec Tag. Do, 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 ah. do, 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 Rec Tag Lifestyle. Set it and come get it. Then the sun starts going down. 